I'm old, so I've been around seeing a lot of great players uh, over a long period of time. And I think a player that was great in his time is going to be great in all circumstances. Those people that are great players, they take over the game and they take over the sport for the period of time that they're in it. They take it over, and everyone knows who that player is. Uh, you can go watch the Chicago Bears play, and you'll remember that Dick Butkus was there. made big things happen when he hit people. I mean, that's the one thing that he could do to change the game. It was just awesome. So you had to get him blocked because he's gonna make a play from sideline to sideline. I played for the 49ers and I was there one year ahead of Dick. I came in 1964, Dick came in 65. Interestingly enough, he really didn't take on the blocker. Dick would actually do everything that he could to avoid you. He may olay you like a bullfighter and then keep right on going. Dick didn't even care about you. He just wanted that ball carrier. I want to just let them know that they've been hit. And when they get up, they don't have to look to see who was uh, that hit them shouldn't be any puzzle. When they come to, they got to say, well, it must have been Butkus that got me. By the time Dick had played it, maybe a year or two, he was pretty outspoken. He'd be talking during the game. <laughs> he kind of played with a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> I mean, if you were going to push him around, he was going to turn around and he was ready to be combative. I never examined his inner thoughts and didn't talk to him about those things, but if he could intimidate somebody, he was going to do that, because he could. Dick Butkus was much more than an intimidator. In just nine seasons, he forced 47 turnovers, including a then NFL record 25 fumble recoveries. His career was cut short by a broken down knee but not before Butkus had played every down of football he possibly could. He stood for something just as important as victory. He gave everything he had on every play. In 69, I was traded to the Bears, and we won one game. We beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. We won one game, and he was named Defensive Player of the Year. It's really quite a remarkable accomplishment when you think about what a lousy team it was. Jim Dooley had just taken over for George Hallis, and he was the team leader and all that. So Jim Dooley had a team meeting, and Butkus said, hey, Jim, let me talk. And so Jim Dooley, uh, let him talk. It's Dick. So Dick says, you know, we wouldn't have any problems here if you guys would get your your head out of your ass and and play like you're supposed to play and that was the end of the meeting I mean, he could have walked out of the locker room and not said a word and still been great and dick didn't do that don't lose it he was so passionate about his team let's go come on now That was dead.